Reliability and validity are used to determine how free of errors decisions will be if we use specific predictors in our selection processes. The extent to which a selection tool repeatedly or consistently produces the same results over time reflects a predictor's reliability. For example, if a person took a test in December and scored 75 and then took the same test in March and scored 76, the exam is probably reliable. A predictor that's not reliable is of no value in selection. Further, a test that has low reliability is unlikely to be valid. The second quality of predictors that we evaluate is validity or accuracy. Validity refers to how well a test measures what it claims to measure. Think of a rain gauge. A rain gauge may be an accurate tool to measure the amount of rain that falls, but not to measure air temperature. This emphasizes the idea that a test's validity is not assessed in the abstract. Rather, when a test is validated, it's assessed for accuracy in a specific context. Several types of validity are used in selection. Criterion-related validity is one method for establishing the validity associated with a predictor. Criterion-related validity involves obtaining scores on a selection predictor like a driving test and then later measuring the job performance of each employee. Then, statistical analysis is used to identify a relationship between the two scores. A criterion-related validity study can be conducted in two different ways, using current employees or using applicants. Concurrent validity uses current employees to validate a predictor or a test. Concurrent validity may be easier to assess because employees are ready and available and can take the predictor test immediately. This shortens the time needed to complete the validation study. A disadvantage of concurrent validity is that employees who have not performed satisfactory at work are probably no longer with the firm, therefore they can't be tested. Another method for establishing criterion-related validity is predictive validity. To calculate predictive validity, applicants' test results are compared with their subsequent job performance. Conducting the predictive validity study involves administering a predictor test to applicants but not using the results to make hiring decisions. That allows a company to hire people with a wide range of scores on the predictor and assess whether their subsequent job performance differs. Job success is then measured by assessing factors such as absenteeism, accidents, errors, and performance appraisal ratings. A key concept in selection is obtaining a comprehensive profile of each applicant. It's like putting together a puzzle. Companies use various methods to collect information about applicants that help them select the best person for the job.